Good afternoon, everybody. Do you hear a familiar sound? It's my nice machine. Two more minutes, and I have to finish this to present it to you. So um, welcome to another 30 minutes of uh, in the in the Club Can Continental 17 with uh, Genome, of course. Well, Genome Canada and Genome America, they partner for this uh, segment. So um, today we're going to talk about quilting, which I'm sure you know, you understand, you're familiar with it, but we'll try dif uh, something different. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, maybe I'll remind you. Okay, so this is what we're going to, um, to work uh, today. So my machine tells me one more minute, I hope, the noise, but it's, you know, the embroidery noise, noise is almost music, I hope for you. So I will turn the camera to show you about quilting, some quilting design built in our machine. Our machine has uh, altogether 1,000 and um, 1,000 and ter my translation, 1,230 different design built in the machine, okay? But we can change them, you know? Of course, they're built in, but we can manipulate them and ch by the changing, almost finish. I checked the clock. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't go faster. I just finished the French... Uh, the French uh, 30 minutes and then this one. So the machine didn't have the time to uh, to finish all this, but you'll you'll the noise will be gone soon. So I'm turning the camera. Okay. Oh, it's finished. Okay, camera arrière. And I'm sure you're familiar with this. They're built in design. There's so much more. Okay. Uh, so many more, so much more. Okay, so I'll remove this. You know what I like me? I like to present my work in that frame. You can do this, you know, also. Let's say at home you want to test, test some design and you want to save them. One day I'm going to do something with this. But, you know, it, it's so nice if I present it to you like this. And what I do at the back, I always write uh, for which hoop this this size uh, the size of this uh, frame is. So the the quilting that we're working today works with the um, uh, hoop ASQ twenty seven D, and I put the measurement in millimeter in inches, and of course my name. I don't want anybody to steal it from me. And maybe because it's red and black, but do you see the corners? All these designs are built in your machine. Okay, so this is the back and the front. So I will remove some panel. And this here I did on cotton fabric. And I use quilter select as um, a batting. I like it's, it's there's no little, um, balloon you know bubbles in here i don't like that this one is clean and flat and uh, there's different thickness anyway that's the one i like okay then another design built in and as you can see uh, it's big i uh, enlarge it to to uh, to make it as big as possible from the uh, uh, embroidery area and this time i use a variegated thread um the thread count uh, thread count number i should say is uh, 30 no 40 this one is 40 okay and the fabric i use here is uh, silk and cotton um you know for quilters you see it's more shiny than uh, than the other one you see the difference between the two of them always the same batting at the back okay and here it's not jean it's thin it's a hundred percent cotton that looks like jean so again it's built in design there's the regular size the way it appears in your machine and on your screen 
just to show you and then you'll see something different and you see i put two just to show different color different design also all built in see another one so this is also built in and <laughs> there's no more here here anyway okay so what i want to, you to know i will cut my thread and bring the fabric to you okay and i will move my camera to the machine okay to the screen of the machine okay like this okay i was doing that one so first what you have to do you have to go to category 22 which is your design there's small design smaller design five pages i should start here this is not small okay smaller design okay all different one for different occasion also here some more and now are the bigger design and again bigger design so i want to feature uh, some uh, quilting so what i did before because i'll show you i did this one in french and now i'm going to do the other one i want to fill up my hoop if i choose this okay and i want to enlarge it i want to fill up my hoop so i will have to oh hold on i will have to enlarge as much as possible ah uh, it's not much because it's not in the center okay let's enlarge it so i cannot go higher than 105 so i'll say okay i'll copy paste i'll make two but i'll have a gap if i don't want a gap i have to move everything okay but still uh it's still i want let's say i want to fill up my this is can this can be really helpful in some uh, you know in between uh, the squares or some other area but you you also have the big square but we also have something special look at this one which is um i i believe the word is stem stem stitch and I want to fill up the full area. I want to make sure I fill up the full area. I want to be in the center, guarantee. And so this one takes longer to make. This is why I'm short in time. Okay. So if you want to add dimension, you'll see the difference between two of them. See, it took me 18 minutes, but I had to, in between the two, um, the two live i had to hoop my fabric and the stabilize not stabilizer the uh, the batting and uh, uh change the thread and all this so i'll bring the camera i'll move the camera so here is the design now it is really special why <laughs> because i made a mistake do you see the straight stitch underneath well, I started fast and I didn't change my design. I didn't change the pattern. So I said, oh, I have no time to restart something new. So I just put it on top of the other. I didn't have to, the, to, to remove. I didn't have the time to remove. But you know what? Will not be hard to remove, okay? It is a straight stitch. So, you know, I will clip some thread once in a while, you know, not not long not a big length in between and with my tweezers i'll be able to remove to remove them to remove my stitches so it'll, it'll be repair it's just a straight stitch you know me uh, uh me i don't cry if i have to remove some uh, i have to fix my designs or my clothes or i i do it that's it so at least you see and you know look already it's a clean area okay so at uh, just for you to know but now the machine holds so many designs but you want to create sometimes 
something different. So the, here comes the one of the solution. Well, of course, solution is one solution is change the thread. It's really easy changing thread, huh? a color of thread. This one is cotton, um, silco from Wonderfill, lint free guarantee. So um, I, I tried this cotton because all the others I showed you is um, uh, was a rayon. So now I'll show you something else. Okay, see? So to make it long, huh? this is like a rectangle, I had to use my software. Okay, so I'll keep pulling my sample. You see this design? Okay, I want to, okay. Look what I can do with it. This is flat with just my uh, stabilizer at the back. Look what I can do with it. Look how puffy it, uh, it is. So easy to do. I'm using a fiber that's called uh, Fabric Magic. You see where my design is? is this is white. This is like off-white. Okay. So this is what I use, and this is what I put underneath here, and I'll show you how to make it shrink, okay? So sometimes just a little something here, just a little, see, here I have dimension. Maybe you prefer flat, maybe you want it uh, puffy. So, you know, whatever you, you like, you do it. Look what happened with the design. Look at this, okay? So at the back, I cut around. I didn't want to put to put some around here because uh, I want to sew my border. Right? I didn't want to have any uh, little pleats. Okay. So this one, I I I fix not bad, but this one is really puffy, really. So how do we do this? We embroider on three layers, okay? And then we cut the excess of that magic fabric. And then you steam your fabric, which we'll do right now. I'll remove this. And I'm using, like you, like you, I told you, the ASQ27 hoop. And the ASQ27 hoop comes in a few parts. So you have your frame, your outside frame. You have your template, which is hard and thick. See the, the plexiglass here, okay? And this helps you to position, make, keep into place your fabric. And then you add your magnet. I want you to, okay, the magnet. And the magnet, there's eight strong, long magnets all the way around, two pair side, and they really hold your, they're really strong, huh? they really hold your fabric and batting together. So I'll remove them to, um, to show you at the back what to do next. They, or they're strong or I'm not strong. And maybe both of, both of this. Okay, this is finished. Then I'll remove that also for sure. So this is the hoop, okay? So it is the biggest on the market, not the biggest hoop, the biggest uh, ASQ hoop. There's a ASQ hoop for 11,000, 12,000, 15,000, and uh, uh, there's some hoop, well, the hoops doesn't sell by itself. Huh? It sells with the software for the five, this 500 series, 400, 450, 500, 550. It's, it comes with um, a software, it's called AccuFill, AccuFill software, uh, AccuFill quilting, okay? So what holds the fabric? You see, you see the, the metal here and the magnet. And so man, um, frame, 
hard template and eight magnet. Now, look what I did previously in French. Look at this, how puffy it is. And because of that solution or that material, everything is, um, uh, uh, I want to say, you know, not, not puffy here and puffy here. It's perfectly, it adds dimension. So here, I have nothing. Huh? It's not done yet. I want to do it in front of you. So first of all, sorry. So first of all, I have to remove this. I want to. Sp I don't want to spoil it. There's no need. I don't want this here. It's not attached. So I have to remove it. And I'm using my little uh, duckbill scissors from Janome. You see, mini duck duckling four inches. This one is. There's a bigger one, but this one is um, is um, small, and camera is in between us. So, uh, so you know that part goes under the under the fabric. I want to protect this part. This part I want to cut. So, uh, well, fabric is really specific to that technique magic fabric i'll show you over the internet after and i didn't do you see that i didn't baste it in my hoop instead you see blue i used i love that blue odif 505 but it is a temporary adhesive glue stick and when you apply it it's blue don't worry you see everything was blue now just a few spots must have been uh, thicker the glue and everything does not disappear but the color uh, it turns white so i'll remove everything around the excess of that fabric magic fabric around this blue here again and th there's no need to put this material in the hoop there's no need i turn my fabric because i want to protect with that um, big part of the scissors, I want to protect my batting at the back. Oh, hold on, is it well? It's well detached. Okay, I'm going. I'll be careful, I don't want to cut my stitches. And the last one. Oh, and my iron is ready. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, now it's done. Okay, and then I bring my ironing board, portable ironing board. And you see how flat it is? Okay, I'll do this part here. So I have my mini iron, and I need the steam. Look the magic. Look at this. So the white fabric underneath shrinks. And because it shrinks, everything is puffy, yeah, it becomes puffy. And you know, because it's puffy, I like also, I like it plain. My um I like the the the, the stitch plain, and I like it also. Forget the straight stitch that I did the previously. So maybe you will say, oh, oh, oh. Hey, this is too much here. If I put some uh, border, I'm going to end up with pleats. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know, you will just have to iron this here flat. And I'll show you. Ah, it's on the floor. Oh, yo, yo. Hold on. Oh, where's my sample now? Oh, it's on the other side. Sorry. Sorry okay look there's no nothing wrong here neither here okay so if you don't want to end up with a problem make sure look what i did here i really cut around so here it was flat okay and this one is exactly at the seam and it's puffy close but there's no danger you know it, it's still perfect. 
So look what happened now. Look at this. My magic um, fabric stays there forever. You don't remove it. And uh, look at the two different, uh, two different um, quilting effect. One with well, the color is is something that uh, change also the look. Huh? But uh, cotton, cotton I use here. I use uh, rayon, rayon, and well, now when you do this, you really have to be careful. Huh? You see that one is flat. This one here is puffy. But when you do this, look. When you use this, look at the difference in, to, in the size. Huh? So you really have to be careful with your measurement. Huh? If you do prefer, you do your embroidery. Okay. You do not iron. You put your borders, then you iron. Okay. Before you iron, you make sure you cut around the design like this one. Huh? You make sure you cut. You don't want to. Uh, and if you want if it's if this is something that you would like maybe just put some of that material just where you want the puffy the puffy uh, quilting okay so this is here and i want to show you I'm, I'm going to move all this because i want to bring the computer oh yo, yo, it's tight here okay so where do you find this look how nice it is this is on pinterest i don't know if i can enlarge this no i cannot enlarge so freequiltpatterns.com doesn't work look what happens this side can't be reached so maybe you'll find it some somewhere else and on pinterest you will find some ideas but I love that one because this is exactly what I did now. So they didn't shrink the, the, the back. They didn't shrink it. They just shrink the leaves. And I count them. There's 12. Four of three different color. And look how nice it is. You know, you have designs in your machine, but you can manipulate them on some way to create something else, okay? So I use, oh, oh yeah, another thing I wanna tell you. So this is the material, I will not open it, but I'll show you here, look how it's this thin. See that, that my blue, um, my blue um, stick, I, I just love that one. I prefer this than the spray, because here it disappears, the spray, when I, you know, it's a mist that you have to put on. Huh? But sometimes it, it, there's a little bit more here and less there. It's very, very difficult with our hand. And besides that, it's dirty all the way around. Huh? It's a sticky. The table is sticky. So this is the fabric. And um, it's in a package like this. You receive it fold. Don't make a mistake. I'll show you what happened here once. When I see here, it's not me for, for, for once. Okay, so you see the crease. So a lady said, oh, I'm going to iron it. I want it flat. Bye-bye. Everything was shrank already. So you just flat it with your hands. Okay. And, uh, okay. So do you think you can do, sorry, I, I moved this. Okay. So now another thing. You use it for quilting with the embroidery, but here it's with sewing. So look what I did at the back. I did some decorative stitches. You see the reaction? Okay. This one is a bit different, you know, more large area. And that one, just straight line with decorative stitches. Well, you don't see exactly the decorative stitches, but still, because it's almost a zigzag and it holds very well, that stitch holds very well the, 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 the material. 
So what I did here is only cotton and uh, that, that uh, magic fabric. Fabric magic, I'm sorry, I, I said reverse. Fabric magic, okay? And this stays into place. This is quite expensive, okay? So, see, I sew together the leftover. All, you know, you want to save everything. So let's say today I made a few of, uh, I made two for sure, two uh, tests, see? So with a straight stitch, I, I keep everything I, I can, okay? You sew them together, maybe you have larger part, and then you, you save them. So you see the reaction, this is even more puffy because there's no batting in between. So on a garment, it is, it is something that you can use, okay? If you try this on denim, like jean, well, uh, it won't puff that much, trust me, because the fabric is too heavy. When, I use, uh, when we use batting, batting is soft, huh? and it's not thick, it's soft. So that really helps. Hey, look how nice it is. And it is even. Uh, it is even, look, oh, I really, really like this. Not all the time, but sometimes. And one thing that I want you to, you know, to not to remember, but maybe you know, maybe you don't know. Our batting, we like to save everything, huh? because, uh, you know, sewer, they don't throw fabric in the garbage. So I keep all my leftover and I sew them together of batting, stabilizer, uh, well, not fabric, of course, so, but uh, whatever I, wherever I can save, I sew them together. You see, this is a leftover. Of course, when I'll use it, maybe I'll cut it straight, but I don't want to put this into the garbage. Huh? Huh? So uh, you save everything. Same thing with this fabric magic. So, I will move the camera back to me to say goodbye, to be polite. And oh, la, oh, la, 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 la. Okay. And it's hot here. Oof, warm, I should say. Okay. So am I on time? Yes, I'm on time. So I wish you a good weekend and um, try some uh, fabric magic. I guess you can find it to a good, uh, at your dealer because it's some kind of stabilizer. Huh? It is in this family, and uh, your dealer probably with the, the regular stabilizer, they probably have that. So I wish you a nice weekend, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.